Hello, it's Kei, and I'm a pro trader and a forex mentor based in Tokyo, Japan. So the topic of the video is row reversal, and what that means is a resistance becomes a support, or support becomes a resistance when you draw a horizontal line on the chart. And this is one of the simplest strategies when you trade forex or stocks, and yet it's very powerful when you can really identify how to draw them correctly. So today on this video, I'll be talking about how to identify the row reversals and how to correctly draw those horizontal lines so that you can trade profitably with good risk to reward ratio. Also, I'll be showing my real trade example by this strategy so that you will also get to see how exactly I'm trading by this for your reference. So if you like this topic already, please press a good button and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get notification on my future Forex educational videos. So let's get started right now. So the row reversal happens when the former support becomes a resistance and vice versa. For example, take a look at this chart. This is a daily chart of Euro Pound and just think where the row reversal is happening on the market. Can you identify where that is? If you want to think, uh, just stop the video for a second and think about it. Alright, so let me tell you the answer. It's right here on this blue line. You see, when you look at the past here, it's been supported here once and the market moved all the way up. Then it came back and supported here one more time. Well, this was a little bit overshooted, but uh, when you see this line abstract, it's been supported here. And what happened later is, after the price broke the line downwards, the price has been resisted on this blue line a couple of times here. So this is something that you must be able to recognize when you look at the market because the line tends to work in the future too. So the first step is to be able to identify where the role reversal is happening on the market. And when you find this, the next thing you can do is to identify the reason why it's been working at this level. And usually the answer is in the bigger time frame. In fact, this is a weekly chart of the same pair euro pound and look at the blue line here. This is the line that you saw earlier in daily, but when you look at this weekly chart, what do you see now? It's also been resisted and supported a couple times here, right? The daily chart was at around here, but when you look in the past on this weekly chart, on these spots, you can also see that it's been clearly resisted and supported a couple of times here. So now you can see why this line was working in daily time frame as well, right? And if you want to take a step further and try to look for another reason why this line is working, um, for example, when you zoom out the chart and when you draw a Fibonacci line from the bottom and top price level of this whole momentum, what do you see now here? This blue line is quite close to 23.6% retracement level, right? So you can see this can be another reason why this level is important because psychologically it's important in the market. Also, if you noticed, there's 38.2% level also working in the past as a support line here. So if the price were to retrace, it might retrace back to this level. So when you think of selling this pair, this 38.2% line right here can be the initial target based on this weekly chart. So again, when you draw a support or resistance line, you may draw them based on the rejections. But if you look back the chart and if you find the row reversal sometimes in the past, that means that line tends to work better than just the support or resistance line because that indicates the market position has been changed. Coming back to this daily chart, when traders see support twice here, what do they think? They think it's going to be supported one more time again when the price touches on this level, right? However, this time it was not supported, but it actually broke the line downwards. Now, it may be due to some fundamentals or maybe the big boys placing big sell to get all the loss cut for the sake of uh, their profit, but I don't know. But the fact is that it actually broke the line downwards. And because there were positions accumulated on this level, 
the momentum was big here. Now think about this. When you look at the market and when you see the huge breakdown like this, what do you think? Do you think the market is going down or do you think the market is going up after this? Well, most of the traders might think the market is going down when you see its big fat bearish candle because it broke the line downwards and now becoming lower height and lower low. And as you watch the market, you notice there is a clear resistance once and twice here. And when you see this, you're gonna be more confident that the price may drop to the downside. So in this case, most of the traders are sell biased and that's the reason why this row reversal works because it really shows the trader's bias got changed from buy to sell now. And after it's been rejected one more time, what happened was the price broke this resistance line upwards and keep on moving up. Uh, that's because there are lots of stop loss orders for those who are having sell positions here and also new buy stop orders here accumulated on this price level. So when you find the row reversal lines, one thing you can expect is that it might be supported or resisted in the future, but also prepare for its breakout because when it happens, it tends to move big. Now I can just keep going on and on by looking at the past charts, but it's just like being smart after the event. So let me show you my real trade by using this row reversal strategy so that it's going to be more practical. All right, this is the euro dollar in 30 minute time frame and right here is where I placed a sell, making about 15 pips of running profit when I took this screenshot. Actually the price kept going down afterwards and eventually I got like 35 pips of profit by this trade. But when you look at the market, you see a row reversal line here, right? The previous support now became a resistance. So when I opened the chart, the market was once rejected here, so that's why I draw the line here. And also, when you take a Fibonacci line here, the price level was close to 23.6 level, uh, retracement level, so I was thinking this could be one of the important lines on this momentum. Now I was also expecting the price to keep going upwards because the recent momentum has been bullish. However, when I see the pin bar on this second rejection, I just place in sell here with a minimum stop loss support like 10 pips. And that way, even I get loss cut, I only get 10 pips of loss, but I can expect a bigger reward of about 50 pips to the recent lowest price level. Eventually, the market reversed to the upside and I took 35 pips of profit, but still, the risk to reward ratio on that trade was 1 to 3.5 on that trade. So you never know what's gonna happen in the market. I never know. So the only thing you can do is to identify the trading edge on the market and when you do, look for a place where you can expect a nice risk to reward ratio and if you keep doing it, then your asset will keep accumulating over time. The important skill to be a pro trader is to follow your own rule and also to be able to surrender to deal with the situation in the market, knowing that you are helpless on the market. So all you can do is just find the edge on the market and this row reversal is one of the ways to find it. So look back the chart by your own, like for the past one year at least, on any pairs that you're trading, look back the chart and try to find where the role reversal is happening in the past and why it's happening so that when you see the same situation next time, you can expect what might happen and be psychologically safe that way. All right, that's it for today's video. On the next one on this coming Thursday, I'll be talking about some of the important chart patterns like double top, double bottom and head and shoulders and how you can actually find the edge and trade by that price action. So if you don't want to miss the next one, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so that you get a notification when it's uploaded on th this Thursday. And also, if you thought today's video was helpful for your trading, please press a good button so that it makes me very happy and keeps me going. Alright, so I will see you in the next one. Stay gold. Mata ne!